Man, but it's amazing the mess that's in Christendom today because there's so many interpretations of this and there's an interpretation of that and it gets to the point where everybody's just confused. Just the other day I was at at a friend's house and we were having a nice conversation and they decided in order to keep uh, their daughter occupied, they brought out a whole stack of, of, of a bin like of Lego toys and she had just dumped the whole thing out on the floor and I went over there at some point because they got into a sidebar conversation with somebody else who was there and I was interested in what she was doing and she was trying to explain to me what she was trying to build and all I could see was this jumbled mess of just Lego pieces, man. It's just pieces everywhere. And so I finally picked out a few pieces that I could recognize and I made a little car with wheels. You know, I was pretty excited about that. She was not impressed because that wasn't part of the plan. She knew what she was supposed to be trying to build and I wasn't helping at all. But do you understand that most people end up doing that with the Bible? That to the Bible to them the Bible is a very confusing book. You have this verse that seems to say something different than this verse, and you got this verse that same seems to say different than that verse, and it's just hard to put all the pieces together. And so people end up looking for stuff that they recognize that seems familiar, and they say, Oh, well, this makes that, and so that seems to hold together pretty good. I can roll it and push it and get my arms around it, so that's what I'll stay with because I'm comfortable with that. The problem with that is, is look, Bible verses are like Lego pieces, right? But Jesus is that picture on the box. Amen? That He is the Word made flesh. He is He is the self-revelation of who God is. He is the revelation of the plan of God and the purpose of God. He is the culmination of all these things. And so we have to admit that our clearest picture, no matter what denomination we may come from, no matter what background we come from, of who God is and what God does and what God doesn't do is in Jesus Christ. Amen? He said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Is that not right? Amen. So we can trust that, hey, maybe we've got some pieces put together wrong. And our best way of trying to decide and determine, hey, maybe we've got some adjustment to do. Maybe our minds need to be renewed. Maybe there's some traditions we've got to let go of. Or maybe there's some things that, well, I've never heard it put that way. Or I've always heard this. You know, how many times did Jesus show up and say, you've heard it said, boom. But I say to you, whap. (laughs) Amen? (laughs) Do you know what he's doing? At that point, he is proclaiming his word to have superior authority to everything they have ever heard. 